proactive beats reactive every time. For the Chuck Colson Center for Christian Worldview, I'm John Stone Street with The Point. Yesterday I mentioned Dr. Anthony Bradley's insightful blog post in which he argues the new legalism of today is pressuring young Christians into thinking they have to do big things with their life and not just settle down, start a family, and live an everyday faithful life. Bradley thinks the phenomenon comes from young Christians reacting against their parents' Christianity. Whether that's the case or not, we should be able to agree that a perpetual posture of reaction against what other generations have done is short-sighted. Not only do we risk abandoning things previous generations got right, we define ourselves ourselves on what we don't want to be rather than what we ought to be. Historically, when Christians have been proactive, it's resulted in establishing the sciences, mastering the arts, and advocating for the most vulnerable in society when no one else was. It's what Chuck Colson would have called making the invisible kingdom visible. I'll give a modern day example tomorrow here at The Point. For ThePointRadio.org, I'm John Stone Street.